so um, the next thing that um, I use critical alert for um, is reporting. One of the most robust reporting systems I've ever seen in a, in a nurse call. Um, and we'd use another, you know, pretty sophisticated nurse call in the past. But the reporting with critical alert really attracted me to that. Um, we've actually worked with CAS and, and Decatur's work to uh, design a couple of reports and uh, that they've readily helped us with to uh, support what we're doing. And that's another great thing about working with the company. But um, the presence report, we use every single day, every shift at our hospital. Um, I told you we measure the RN's time at the bedside. So the presence report helps you measure the RN's time at the bedside. I actually measure every staff member, nursing assistants as well. And it is uh, posted every day on the nursing units. And so they know what their time was the day before. And so um, that's driven over the years a lot of competition. And I know that um, you may think, well, there's people that will just go stand in the room or they'll leave their locator in a room or something. We've, we've faced all those things and we've overcome a lot of them. Um, there's a healthy competition between the units about their time at the bedside averages. So all that's a really good thing, but we do use the system to do that. The performance reports really help you understand um, when, when uh, staff is moving in and out of the rooms, knowing how long that they were there. I really look at nursing assistants and performance reports because I know that a bath takes about 20 minutes to do. So if I've got a nursing assistant that's been in a room and the longest they've been in a room is two minutes the whole day, something didn't happen right. And so we look at those performance reports. I don't use them every day, but we look at them three or four times a week just to spot check folks to make sure that you know, we've got people in rooms when they should be. We look at those performance reports also to help us with looking at our hourly rounding to make sure there's a, a, um, a staff member in the, in the room every hour. Uh, and I, there is an hourly rounding report that we use as well, um, but it's, um, it's more of a global report and it helps us see things, but that performance report really ha helps you drill down to exactly uh, what's happened in the room. I use other reports from um, Critical Alert, the call volume by unit and time of day. Those are things that really help you understand where you need to concentrate folks. And, and can anybody guess on, on what time of the day that calls are usually higher? And it's always when people are at lunch. Why is that? <coughs> it, you know, it, it, if you look at it any day, between the 11 and 1 o'clock hour during the daytime is when your call volume goes up. And so it's because people are off the unit or they're in the conference room having lunch or wherever, you know, wherever they do that. So there's less people on the unit. So the call volume goes up. <coughs> We've worked diligently to try to reduce that. We have had some success in reducing call volumes during those peak times just by having everybody round on their patients, you know, before they go to lunch. And, you know, of course, sometimes that can take up your whole lunch 30 minutes trying to do that. But all, all, that, all that said, those reports really help you drill down in the places where you need to work. And if you didn't have that, it's just a guessing game. And so uh, we really uh, have maximized, I think, uh, utilizing the reports that, that, um, that Critical Alert gives us.